and say hi. It's yes, the wild we are. Girl. Hello. Hi. 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 Hello, media, everybody. Um, we've probably not seen some of our shows because we haven't come together collectively um, yet, have we? Is this our first bubbler? No. Second. Second. Were you, you were there last week, right? Yeah, yeah, well, well yeah. <laughs> thing happening. <laughs> this is our first public one, right? This is our first public one. Wait, so this... you, did, you did an eye tutorial with your makeup last week. I did, yeah. I wasn't sure where it went out to. Right, so yeah. we, are, we are the WOW Girls, and that stands for girls, wonderful. Women of, women of wonder. Why women of wonder and women of, of wisdom and um, we're going to be collectively doing uh, new shows each week so we've got a whole load of topics that we can choose from varied from some quite fun personal witty <clears throat> and some learning projects so today is going to be about internet safety and what we need to be aware of as human beings not just parents but as uh, adults for our children and for ourselves on um, what we can do to be more aware about internet safety. So um, this is just one of our topics and it's quite dear to our heart because we have, we've, we thought we were quite savvy adults <laughs> and then it turned out that we somehow um, got lured, I would say, into a group, into a group on the internet, on Facebook, which is actually quite easy to, to happen. Um, and then once you get into groups on Facebook, then the real reveal begins. Now, some of those things are fabulous. We collaborate and, you know, things get done. You make friends. And other times it can be very unfortunate because we can be um, embroiled or what word would you use, girls? You, you'd be lured into Shanghai that you that you wouldn't necessarily want to join if you knew what that group was about. So um, I think who shall we choose? Do, 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 do. Okay, we'll choose Bridget. It's like Russian roulette here. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Hi, Adam. Well, we, Hi, Mike. we all have um, experiences of how we became into this group in the first place. So I'll start with mine. Mine was um, two people, a man and a woman, who I had not become friends with on Facebook. And um, the man sent me just this ad hoc messen messenger um, and we got chatting. Now, here's the thing. When you're an internet marketer or you become quite social on Facebook, you begin to open yourself up to be chatty to anyone because you... You form, you know, you get to know what their needs are, if they want you for business, if they're looking for friendship. Um, so you're open to learning about new people. You not, you don't close yourself in. So this, this was the first thing, really, um, being open to talking to someone that I didn't know, which I'm used to doing. So when this person, I nearly said a name, when this person came on, um, he was vibrant, chatty, a bit, you know, um, out there with his personality. And I like people like that. You know, I resonate to someone who's a bit crazy. <laughs> I wonder, I wonder with why it. I'm friends with you guys. Yeah. <laughs> but, but I do, I love, I love zany people, someone a bit just off the head, just a bit out there. And he was like that on the messenger. Um, and he was American. So I kind of expect that you're all sort of a bit hyper and <laughs> mental so, so i thought oh i love this it's, it's okay to be friends with this person but then i noticed it was structured the message the message was structured because another a woman then messaged me and she was trying to get to know me as well and then the guy said i have my friend messaging you as well because i've told her that i'm speaking to you and that you are okay so that was my first alarm bell my first alarm bell was hold on this has been a very manipulated messenger um these two people have chosen me um ra not not randomly they've chosen me specifically to become friends with um and then 
they added me into a group which I didn't ask to be added to. Um, again, I get added to a lot of groups and it's all about collaboration, helping each other to work on, you know, subjects and things like that. So again, I thought, well, it's okay. Don't I'll know. join the group and see what's happening. Nazim is asking if he was a chat bot. If it was what, sorry? If, if he was a chat bot. What's, What's a that? chatbot? I mean, I'm from the UK. I don't know what a chatbot what is. What is a chatbot? So, no, no, it wasn't a chatbot. So basically like spam and stuff like that, there's actually bots that go in and, and communicate with you or spam your account, stuff like that. So no, this oh, is right. actually no, no. a real person. It's a, a real, real, a real person. Um, he's highly well, active. Kind of, <laughs> kind of. Uh, okay, that, that's, that's he won't. He point. won't show his face on camera, so. Whoa. That's a good point. Um, Sorry, is he a everybody. real person? We teach our children to make sure that the people on their Facebook are who they say they are. Now, your question um, has highlighted another alarm bell, which I felt at the time. This person wouldn't come on camera. There is a photograph of him on the Facebook, but that could be anybody. Um, <clears throat> and once we joined the group chat, there was no interaction with um, videos. Now, as you girls know, we, we interact on chat every day and we don't mind going on videos, showing each other who we are and voice messages. But this person is adamant that he doesn't ever need to be seen. Uh, so there was a lot of other alarm bells after that. And okay. to, to be honest, I stayed in the group because I was worried for the other women in the group and how strange that we should all be chosen as women so there was a man and a woman uh, who were organizing this group and they threw us all in together so Brigetti how did you end up in this um the group the group that we um well, shouldn't have been in well Donna Marie I, my my experience was pretty much similar to yours you know and I share your sentiments from the perspective that when you have online interaction, you want to be, you know, as open, as friendly as possible for collaboration. And so when someone approaches you um, and suggests that you collaborate, um, you agree because until, you know, there's a reason for you not to trust someone, um, you are going to give the person the benefit of the doubt and, and trust that person until they prove otherwise. And my experience was very similar to yours in that this gentleman approached me, made an appointment for me to, to speak with him. Um, and I agree to that because I'm open to collaboration and when it got closer to the time for this meeting to take place, I was advised that the conversation I had with him was shared with his partner, um, who was a female. And I think because he was a gentleman and he said his partner was a woman, that kind of made me feel safe, I guess, to a certain extent. Um, and then, you know, when we, when we had the conversation and we were getting into it, I was advised that this conversation was being recorded. Um, I didn't know, you know, I didn't, I think I was so flabbergasted at the time that it didn't quite sink in. It felt a little bit overwhelming for me to get this when I'm already kind of in the conversation. You know, I didn't really have time to consider the impact of being recorded. Um, and so I'm saying or I'm feeling that I didn't really make an informed decision at that time about whether or not I was being recorded because I got completely, I got caught off guard completely. And it can happen just like that, you know. Um, because like I said, I had no reason to mistrust this person. Um, in fact, the person asked me, and I'm, I must be honest, you know, I've never 
in my life ever come across someone who at their very first meeting with me now i've seen this person online previously you know and so when he approached me i really had no reason to to mistrust him but i have to say in all my encounters i've never ever come across someone who pointedly asked me and demanded of me an answer as to whether or not i trust them um it was kind of an odd question and i thought okay well let's go with the flow and just hear where this is going and i said yes you know because i thought well until the person gives me a reason not to trust him i guess i've got no reason to doubt his sincerity on that so the next thing i knew i was invited into a a group with other people and uh, my experience was was similar to what donna marie said um you know conversations in the everyone that was in the in the group you know all the ladies were sharing and they were encouraged to share but this guy wasn't doing the kind of sharing he was encouraging um the rest of the ladies mm. to do and i felt uncomfortable about it because i don't really know what it was but i just had a queasy feeling and i started holding back you know i didn't i didn't overshare i shared only what was absolutely necessary because i kept thinking you know i wonder to what extent the other ladies are going to be willing to share how far they will go um what is this gentleman's motives um with this because the initial reason why i personally was invited into that group never seemed to pan out um you know conversations were random general it had nothing to do with the reason for which i initially was invited into that group i i you know i don't know if you guys felt similarly donna marie yeah would would you um yeah would you agree as well that the the conversations that he had or his mentorship as he liked to sort of uh, see it which it wasn't mentorship but it went into a loop it was like a cassette playing over and over again so the guy the guy spoke the same things with the same exact same words over and over again but spoke about them as if they were fresh Uh, like it was a script. So uh you had yeah. held up a question earlier Donna Marie and they were asking what the question said because I couldn't see it. Mm. Ah the the question was because I knew Bridgette was going to say <laughs> the first initial questions that they asked me they asked me was um do you trust me? Yes or no. Now, like you couldn't go into you know like the the level of mm. trust or anything like that. You had to say yes or no. That's and it. And if you try if you tried to explain he'd say no 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 no. Yes or no? Like you weren't allowed any more information. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and um, plus um it was it was almost as if well you you had to say yes because he would imply that if you said no you weren't a fit for the group. Mm. So mm-hmm. even I... though I'm not one to be told what to do <laughs> um uh-huh. and I'm quite feisty, but I was doing things to see what what his agenda was what's the motive with these people what's his agenda and how can i stay in this group to look after the other women yes what, what's mm. he going to do with these women and how can i protect them and how can i warn them because i at that time i thought i was the only person that felt these big alarm bells i would have just left I think we all thought we were the only people yeah. that had the big alarm. So there's a bunch of yeah. questions coming out. Um first of all, um they want to know like if we were in this guy's circle. Um hmm. we were in the, the inner, inner circle. circle. In our inner circle. circle. In our inner circle. But but wait, when we first started, okay, so like with me, 
I'm, I'm the same with Donna Marie. I do network marketing, internet marketing. And so I talked to everybody and I had no clue who these people were, except for they did run in my circles, but I had just never been in the same area as them when, you know, they were on. And so there was a post on one of my friend's Facebooks and it was about autism and my son's autistic. And so the girl had made a comment about what she wished for, for Christmas. And because her comment moved me, it was about her son who was autistic. I reached out to her and I said, you know what? I totally understand the things that you're going through. Um, if you'd like me to share, I have my story about, you know, our autism journey on YouTube. I'm willing to, to share that with you. Emily, Just contact you me. The woman? Was it the woman? Yeah. The woman is, is the one that I was, I was talking to. And, uh, <clears throat> so she reached out to me and she pulled me into this meeting with the guy. And when he was asking me these questions, do you trust me? Yes or no. In my head, I'm like, well, I trust you so far. So yes. Mm -hmm. And I had no clue about an inner circle. I had no clue about a group or anything. By the end of the meeting, he says, so are you in yes or no? And I'm like, am I into what? Well, I want to know what this, this thing I'm into is. So yeah, I guess I'm in just to find out what it is. (laughs) So it wasn't something like we ran in the same circles or anything like that. It was just mm. random meetings and, and got mm. pulled in. So mm. what, what were the other questions we had as far as um, having to answer yes or no to meet and fit the criteria of this woman and this man? Um, what were the other questions? So one was, do you trust me? Yes or no. And the other one um, do you see me as a friend? That was the other question. Yes yeah. or no. And as you can appreciate, there is no yes or no to the both of those questions. You can't answer yes or no when you've just met somebody and they're messaging you, asking you that question. It's ridiculous. Mm. It's pathetic. Um, but notice how we were, we chose, we made a decision to choose to answer that question just again to protect what's what's going on you know in this group because every day he would still say those things and we would answer and yet all the time in the back of our minds we're thinking how do I protect these ladies can I can I be honest yeah please I I no I I love to say (laughs) I weren't you know me I can't I can't really ignore the whole sincerely Sarah thing I would love to sit here and say I was so onto him and, um, you know, like, oh, I smelt his crap a mile off. But I actually didn't, if I'm fully honest and just being really humble. I was sucked in, like, and I met him, um, like, maybe a year before you guys did or maybe over a year. I did at least and a I, year ago. Over yeah, year and ago. I, yeah, well, and me, I, me um too. You did? Yeah. And I just had a baby and I was stuck at home and I had nowhere to go. But then I found it was actually on Blab um, where I first was connected with this person. And, you know, it brought up a lot of issues to me when this all unraveled and it turned out he might not have been who he said he was because um, it really made me realize I wanted to trust him, you know, like I wanted to have an older man who would speak into my life and he spoke such great things to me, like, which I'm now so much wiser about, but it took this experience for me to learn. Um, He was so encouraging. He listened to my story. Then when other people um, came on to like a conversation, he would like speak really highly of me. And I was in a place, you know, you've just had a baby, you feel a bit invisible. And I feel like maybe he knew that that's where I was at. And he kind of took advantage of it. And um, I, I did kind of, I'm like you girls until you give me, well, maybe not, but until someone gives me a reason not to trust them, I'll give them as much trust as I think is reasonable. I'm not going to go giving you my passwords to anything, but, um, I, yeah, Emily, I'm sorry. Carlos is asking if he could join. And I was just wondering if you guys would mind if he joined or not. Sure. Well, do we trust him? Do we trust him? I I trust (laughs) Carlos. I do trust Carlos. And also somebody else is asking for like a recap of what we're talking about because they just joined. So somebody just kind of like give us some context of what we're, we're talking about. 
Okay. I'll it's give about that. internet safety and not being, you know, taken, uh, knowing who, what group you're getting into and knowing the people that you are um, joining in. You need to do your research. <laughs> we won't yeah. trust you, Carlos. Oh, we're we were all shanghai We're talking about the fact that you can't take someone off um, face value either. You mm, no. They, they can appear, um, the way they find the people to join them is that they mm. are ever so helpful, mm. ever so um, polite, mm. um, friendly, um, supportive on people's posts. And mm. that's how they generate and find the people that they want to get into. So, mm. And uh, I, I guess that's what I'm trying to say is know your vulnerabilities. Like I wish yeah. I'd known where I was open to being do you know what I mean rather than just thinking oh no one will ever screw with my head like because I, I I think I have a pretty good head on my shoulders but this one clearly got me and um right. I think that's one of the first things is knowing knowing that you can be um screwed with you know what, I mean? you know what I find well, kind of interesting I find it interesting you know how we were I guess you could say bamboozled in a way um Sarah I'm in the same boat as you I you know I think I trusted too much probably because I knew him for a while because of mm. lab mm, but um you know here we are it's, it's kind of funny we're talking about internet safety and look how we came together and <laughs> but the, you know you get this feeling sometimes you should always listen to those gut feelings absolutely you know um you know I never had a hey Carlos <laughs> Hello, uh, never trust a man who has a naked picture on his Zoom. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm not naked. <laughs> Carlos. Hey, Carlos, I just think that you need to do some songs, you know, like Barry White. I think we'd all listen. <laughs> we love your voice. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. You're welcome, baby. Um, Hi, Carlos. How are you doing? Hello, Hi, Donna. Carlos. Oh, I finally get to see Donna and, and, like, and video with her. Anyway. Um, hello, everyone, and, and I appreciate you allowing me to come in. Um, I'm not going to mention his name, of course, but you know, I'll let you guys deal with that. But uh, Donna, do you remember the question that he had asked me? Uh, and I think it was about trust, but I, I don't recall exactly. Do, do you remember the question? Um, he asked you quite a few questions. Um, what he does is he's, he edges around... Everything comes back with him to about his own religious beliefs. And he wants you to believe in exactly the same as he mm. believes in. That's his other criteria for you to fit the bill to go into the next inner, inner circle, which nobody's bothered about. But he asked you questions and you gave some wonderful, I can't remember what they were, the answers, but your answers your way with words honestly they were beautiful there was nothing wrong with your answers at all and because they were your answers they were truthful they were from your heart your your ideas but he knocked you down and told you you were wrong <clears throat> but you needed to how does he say relearn you need to um can anyone remember the phrase that oh i've deleted everything from those two like we keep talking about this man. It's also the woman. So let's not put like mm. all the responsibility on him. Mm. Well, okay, she turned so, out to be his first victim, if you will. Yeah. Right. And Absolutely. she was captivated. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it had to do with truth. Yeah. And so, so it, you know, yeah. his question was, um, do you believe in, in truth or my, what, what my different definition of truth was? And yeah. is, if, is your is truth either a reality or is truth the ultimate like yeah is, it, is there an ultimate truth I think right and, and of course my answer was um no you know so for him truth is truth there's no questioning it there's no uh, it can't be a lie it can't be wrong it can't be anything but the truth and I said well that's just not possible now you can take the word truth look it up in the definition and it might give you this solid answer but in reality, truth is not truth. Truth is almost like an opinion. For example, uh, mm -hmm. someone's religious faith might be their truth. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. the earth was created in five or six days or seven days. Uh, or, or my truth could be it took seven million years or billion years or trillion years. You know, 
people's truth changed based on whatever their life is and things of that nature. So that's kind of like what I was answering. And he was just like, that's not possible. <laughs> you know? Truth is truth is truth. It, by the definition of the word, truth is... Go ahead, Don, I'm sorry. So, Carlos, um, would you agree? Because you knew this person before. Um, yes. Uh, you, you said that you heard, you knew of his character from Blab and you kind of had that experience before where you know how he's going to treat people. And plus you're a man and he doesn't like dealing with men. Yeah, uh, I want to know your take on it because we know all of our take on it. So what's a guy's viewpoint, you know? Well, okay, so, so he, he's very subtle and yet blatant um and uh he he's very artistic in terms of the structure of his thoughts and he's very articulate to some extent uh and even though in his limited definitions of life and meaning um and he's he so he's defined in a very structured building and he wants to welcome you in that building and you have to believe that those walls and the pillars of that building are the ultimate end all be all. The problem is that he doesn't believe that other buildings exist. And unless, unless, uh, you know, I never chose to challenge him when we were on blab because it just felt like a guy who was dancing and it was very transparent and people I thought was seeing it. I didn't realize that he was actually trying to manipulate an agenda until I, I, was invited to the group by the woman. Now, the, oddly enough, you know, why, if this was aimed at other women, would the woman invite the Carlos <laughs> to this <laughs> to this environment? And uh, when I when I came into this environment and realized I was the only guy, and I know other men have been in in the group uh, periodically, uh, and I know that a lot of them were challenged and then eventually they just kind of went away but when i saw that the that he was very consistent in his message and very manipulative in his message i started getting worried because i realized the women in the group were coming back and i'm like okay they're either listening and getting caught up in it and so that concerned me a lot and so that's when i started kind of not answering the way he wanted to answer because well I did. Uh, at some point, I just don't want to get into a huge argument because I don't technically dislike him, but I, I do. I did feel that mistrust. I did feel you that. Trust him. Wow, that's a big feeling. Right. If you feel mistrust, if right. I feel mistrust about someone, then it follows that I won't like them. It, Absolutely. It, it, Is that why you don't like me? Yeah, one hundred percent. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this whole group right here, including Carlos, has come together through this. So, it, I mean, something good can come through anything, right? Absolutely. So there are a couple of questions that are being asked. Yeah. So I want to throw all three of them out there, and then we can go ahead and answer them. One, Hi, did negative? Did something negative happen to anyone reporting on this individual? Two, what did the people they are profiling do? And three, how did we all end up getting out of it? Okay. <laughs> okay. I answer one, can I answer one thing? Yeah. So I did attempt to, to resolve what had happened in the group. And I specifically asked this gentleman, and it was in writing. I asked the gentleman, I said to him, if I had in any way, shape, or form given you permission to record what I say or what I write within the group, if I'd previously given you that permission, I am now here with revoking that permission. You no longer have my permission to record what I say or what I do. I've rejected, right. can I just this gentleman then turns that. around... And after agreeing that he will not record me or what I said, he actually goes ahead and still records that and plays that on the internet. And I'm thinking, how thick do you have to be 
when after you've agreed, you will no longer record me as I requested, and you still go ahead and do it. It just blew my mind. And at that point, I started doing a little bit more digging. And here's what I found. I found years of recording that this person had done on various people over a number of years. And in almost every conversation, the questions, the techniques, the methods, everything remained consistently the same over a long span of years. And every time you hear the person asking the same questions, it is with, it's, the tempo is the same. The conviction is the same. The voice is the same. And you wonder, you know, you start thinking, you know, even if I was teaching for years and I'm teaching the same class for years, I'm not going to use the exact tempo. I'm not going to use the exact phrase. I'm going to switch it up a bit. You know, I'm going to change it a little bit. But for someone to remain so consistent over so many years is scary. Mm-hmm. He's using methods of neuro-linguistic neuro- programming. Yeah. Right. So, so the, the the tone, the consistency, it's up. It's supposed to penetrate your brain. It's supposed to, um, theoretically, it's supposed to. It's a little uh, bit of hypnosis. Exactly. Yep. But the, well, it says evidence that he has training in that, right? Yes, I believe so. Oh, and yeah. B. Bergetti also, I think, found um, uh, she was warned by someone to stay away from him. Yep, and she let all of us know when we started kind of doing some investigation. Well, after a few times that I've met, uh, that I went into this group, I did start reaching out through DM just to make sure that people were not overly caught up in it. Um, I believe maybe with Donna, possibly with Emily. Um, I kept questioning you. I'm like, what do you know about this guy? What do you know about this girl? And you're just like, oh, you know, they're okay. I'm like, are you curious right now? Because... Seasoned older adults who, you know, um, other women, it's worrying because other women may warm to these people because they appear, you know, um, she, she's got a child, she's a mother, um, she's there saying that she wants to help people, help other women and so on. Right, and so, that's his crutch, that's, that allows him to penetrate even further. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, because he won't come on camera. He won't show himself. Uh, we don't know whether that photo of him is actually him. Um, um, we don't know if he's naked back there just watching these women. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so- well, I'll tell you what got me the other week. I went to a friend's house. We were just doing some recording, singing, playing around. And he said, have a look at this. I've got this new equipment. And he showed me how he could change my voice so I could be a kid. I could be a deep voice. I could be a man. And I'm I'm playing with this thing. And I'm thinking all of a sudden, this person came in my head and I thought, hold on. What if he's doing that? What if the voice he chooses as the great wizard of Oz is not actually his voice? Well, it is his voice. I I have seen him, I think once, maybe twice. Um, Right. You've seen him in person? Sarah, you just have to go boom. Early, 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 early days. Okay. So the hand things in the window. Yeah. So Sarah Sarah wants to talk. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. Bob just keeps asking. A few people have asked. um, Did did these people do anything wrong, or did did they they harm anyone? anyone? Yes. Um, Yes. What are your What's your lady's answer to that? Well, I not not physically. Not physically. Not, Not physically. physically. No. It, it would be mental and emotional. That that would be the harm that was done. Uh, yeah, I would. Um, think, yeah. Honestly, and I would mm-hmm. say a form of bullying as well because mm-hmm. it's um, manipulation <sighs> is yeah. he, um, to use your information that you have given in a private setting. I'm talking to all the other ladies. They're talking to me. We think we're having a private conversation. At no point was I asked. About you know, recording. I never gave my permission for any of our conversations to be recorded. And that is a, 
Um, it's a civil rights violation. He's gone out of the, the bounds, of, and he has used our information, all of the chats. I know I've seen Brigetti's, uh, the video he's made on Brigetti. The lady has made the video with him. It's not just him. And he's shown Brigetti's private messages off Facebook, every single one of them. Mm -hmm. And not only that, okay, so, and he, he's done, like, he's slandered a bunch of us. He did a whole, like, show. Yes. I'm in a cult and I'm just, like, totally ran myself down. But if you look at the lady that is working with him, when we first got into this group, she was herself. She would speak her mind. And since then, she's actually started to sound exactly like him using the same phrases, the same words, the same inflections, everything. Maria. And I'm that's Mary. probably what he wanted to do with us mm -hmm. is he oh, wanted to mold us into what he molded her. Yeah. The, the, uh, so, so just to kind of clarify, so he, he uses forms of manipulation. He uh, uses ways. <laughs> of, uh, we... oh, sorry, Carlos. I think Mary was going to no, uh... go ahead. Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> Carlos would talk all the time. Yeah. <laughs> that's my way of manipulation. No, I'm kidding. Come um, Daddy, let's hear you. And so, <laughs> and so the, the key, the thing is when everybody just decided to figure him out and then kind of go against the green with him, that's when he would then turn on you and, and basically, uh, make an effort very much like Scientology would, would do. Now, not, we're not saying this Scientology by any means, but, but there's, there's elements that you can see where there's the manipulation. Uh, if you don't believe the way I believe, then you don't. You don't exist. You're not in my circle. Uh, and then uh, at that point is when he starts to type of uh, throw a lot of negativity out there towards each individual person. Mm. I yeah. do want to say that, you know what, the way at least I'm seeing that it kind of ended, at least for me, and I think probably really how we all came together is that we got too chatty for him mm. in the group because we were speaking about things that he didn't want us to talk about. It's like, no, 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 we're not talking personal here. This is my agenda and you guys are not following it. Mm -hmm. And I don't know exactly what his reasoning was, but it just kind of, I think it started to fall apart. And at that point he decided to start, nope, you don't, you don't fit here. You don't fit. You're kicked out with no words, no nothing. Probably you know, now. We, we are quite feisty in our opinions, um, and I don't actually think he could handle us. He couldn't. He really can especially me and Donna Marie, for sure. Mary, you've had your hand up forever. Go ahead. I are, yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, so my experience um, has been a little different because I knew this one of these people personally way before all of this started. And that has made this a very difficult situation because we had a common uh, denominator that brought us together. And um, I knew her personally before all this change happened. I came on um, as a favor to just kind of check it out because it's a favor that she felt towards him. Uh, but I had alarm bells. I had told her from the like almost... I don't know, eight months prior to, okay, this sounds really fishy. You know, um, <clears throat> you got to really follow your gut instinct. So I came in kind of a little bit differently than everyone else did. Um, and this has been, um, sort of personal. It's, it's, uh, you know, we were all, um, and I'm going to use this word, even though there seems to be confusion on the other side kicked out because, and I'm going to say it again, it was what showed up on the screen. So we were all kicked out over a situation that how happened with the explanation. And then we all kind of came. I remember I uh, messaged Emily right away. I said, Emily, you know, we need to start a group because um, the women in this group have kind of, we've all kind of come to depend on each other for support and we kind of blossomed a friendship. So we need to start another, we need to start a group with just the six of us. And so that's how we came back together. Well, who emailed or who actually messaged who first? I, I uh, remember I, I messaged a few people as well. I emailed, I, I reached out to Emily and I think Kathy. Um, but, you know, they've gone on to, I reached out and asked for explanations for all six of us because I knew how upset everybody was going to be. So I took it upon mm -hmm. myself to immediately, which I was reached out to and I turned around and reached out back 
and asked, I think it took a week or two of asking both of them questions, trying to find out what exactly happened um, to no avail. Nothing was answered. Everything was scooted around. Mm. It happened to Brigetti as well. So mm. when they have then gone on and done audio about all of us and put it on YouTube for the whole world to hear, um, mm. the truth is I'm a walker of truth. I think everybody pretty much in this group is. But the walker but is your truth my truth? No, I'm kidding. No, my, tr <laughs> my truth is the truth, okay? So, um, <laughs> um, you know, to go and talk about people, when you're representing a group saying, you know, we don't talk about people behind their back, we talk about them in front of their back or whatever. Uh, you know, I'm sorry, but, uh, you know, you can't go and talk about people behind their back and not expect some sort of repercussion. I hear, I see you, Emily. Okay. I think we were all um, psychoanalyzed as well, weren't we? So we were told we're having a meeting. Do you want to hook up on YouTube? What's it called? YouTube? Google Hangouts? Google Hangouts, I think it was, and, yeah. Uh, and you would arrive there and you would end up being interviewed by these people. And mm. you, didn't know, you didn't know that you were going to be... Recorded, yeah. So, mm -hmm. so Donna Marie, can you give some things that you think we should all look out? People should look out for because even as parents, we have to do that. Because I know we haven't really. Yeah, we got to wrap up. So, give us everything that we need to. Yeah. Okay. So, really, what we're saying is, um, internet safety. It's called the web, the big web, for a reason. Um, you know, everything that goes on the, on the internet is caught and and kept there forever. It's like a carbon footprint. And I think that when we're involved with uh, joining groups or letting or if we have our own groups and we want someone to be an administrator or something like that we really do need to choose we really need to trust these people and know them inside out for for mm. having that massive responsibility to become an administrator mm. in your group that's a big thing the people mm. on your facebook if you don't resonate with them and you find out that they are their agendas are wrong and that they're you know they're not doing good for people in the long run if you keep them on your facebook you're sort of showing other people that you believe in them as a friend you know that you trust them so i i had to kick those people off i wanted to keep them on to <coughs> keep an eye on them um so i suppose we could finish by saying how would we um if we get a friend request what can we look for um to see if that person's genuine or not uh, how can we accept the person or delete the person? What should we be looking for? I think if you if you do end up meeting somebody, be very careful what personal information you decide mm. to um, yeah. give out. Um, <laughs> now, we we ladies, we actually have given out quite a bit of information within our group, you know, and as we feel comfortable, we sh we share more and more. Um, but if there's ever you know anything that feels wrong. Go by your gut intuition. Definitely. I love what Kathy just said there, because one thing that we noticed once we all got together in this side group without those two, every single one of us had a crazy feeling and we all stuck around because we didn't want the other women to get hurt. And so those feelings that you have, don't ignore them and go ahead and voice them because chances are you're not the only one feeling the same way. No, those mm. inner, those God alarms inside you. Yeah. Mm. Mm. All right. And so I, would, oh. I would just say maybe don't share more than someone else is willing to share. If you're talking to someone who doesn't want to tell you much, but is asking you a lot, let that be like a red flag not to share. Well, the first red flag and, should be the fact that he wasn't on camera. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The other thing <laughs> right. is, um, we ended up doing our own research. I did a lot of research on the, these people and the man in particular there are, there's hundreds of videos of him on YouTube. Um, I've actually gone through quite a lot of hours of watching them. And there's some incriminating stuff, which as a woman, I would not want to be involved with this man. Knowing. I think you need to tell what the incriminating was. <laughs> um, you don't have to, but oh my God. We have to, we have to wrap it up because we're supposed to stop at like an nine, hour ago, <laughs> two minutes ago. <laughs> so I think from my side, you know, I, I, I want to add, go with your gut feeling. If something doesn't feel comfortable, it isn't comfortable. And right. we are obviously going to end up um, in the same 
kind of circles as these people, you know, internet marketers, people who do live streaming. So we are going to have to carry on working our lives around, you know, these people, but we just don't want to be connected with them. Yeah. All right. So everybody say goodbye. It was really nice connecting with you. If you found value, thank you, ladies. And share it out. Thank We'd you, appreciate Paula. that. And we'll be back next Sunday at the same time, 7.30 Central.